Today we're making whipped cream. This is so simple and it's one of my favorite accompaniments to so many different desserts. It's light and it's creamy and it's so soft and fluffy. And what I love most is that it's lightly sweetened so it never overpowers anything that you're serving it with. So I have a few different success tips to make this the best whipped cream that you'll ever try. So first you wanna make sure that you're using very cold, heavy whipping cream. The colder the cream, the easier it is to whip up into that soft and fluffy consistency. If you're feeling extra ambitious, you can even chill the mixing bowl and the whisk attachment. This just makes whipping cream much, much easier. One of the most popular questions I receive is what is the difference between all of the cream products on the market? You want to make sure for whipped cream that you're using heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. Those have a higher milk fat percentage than just plain whipping cream. So always look for the term heavy in the title. So we only need three ingredients to make whipped cream. We need heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. We need sugar and we need vanilla. You can flavor whipped cream many different ways and I have a few options in my blog post, but today we're just making regular vanilla whipped cream. The great aspect about this recipe is that you can increase the volume however much you want. So I'm just going to use one cup of heavy cream and that's going to whip into about two cups. So it's going to increase its volume by double because we're gonna whip so much air into it. For the sugars, you can use confectioner sugar or you can use granulated sugar. It doesn't matter either way, but when you're working with a large amount of quantity, I recommend sticking with confectioner sugar because at some point you will start to taste the sugar granules. So this is lightly sweetened whipped cream, so we'll only use two tablespoons of sugar per one cup of heavy whipping cream. And then for a little flavor, we'll add some vanilla extract. Make sure you're using pure vanilla extract for the best flavor. We're only going to use a half a teaspoon of vanilla per one cup of heavy whipping cream. So make sure they're using a whisk attachment. A whisk attachment will whip plenty of air into the whipped cream, as opposed to a paddle attachment. I recommend whipping whipped cream at medium high speed. This is the perfect balance between low and high. If the mixer speed is too low, the cream won't whip up quick enough and it could warm up. If the mixer speed is too high, your whipped cream could end up curdled. So this only takes a few minutes. One of my main tips is don't walk away from the mixer when you're making whipped cream. I've done that plenty of times and I always come back and it's over whipped. So we wanna stop the mixer and check it every now and then to make sure we're not getting to that over whipped consistency. Look for soft, fluffy peaks. So this looks good. I'm gonna check it first and see what we have. Those look a little too soft. Let's stop and check it again. Looks like we're almost there. These are still a little too droopy. So let's go for a few more seconds. Looks like a puppy big cloud in our mixing bowl. Big puppy cloud. Perfect. Medium peaks will hold their peak, will droop down just slightly, but when you lift the whisk attachment off, you get that beautiful peak. Whipped cream has many different uses. It's very versatile. I love it with trifles and cheesecake, pumpkin pie, banana cream pie, pound cake, angel food cake, strawberry shortcake, ice cream, strawberries, and everything in between. And you can also use this homemade whipped cream in any recipes that call for frozen whipped topping, just a one-to-one -one exchange. So I like to use this homemade whipped cream as opposed to frozen whipped topping. It's fresher, it's so simple, you know exactly what's going in it, and it's lightly sweetened. So it's best if you use the whipped cream immediately, but you can cover it tightly and stick in the refrigerator for up to 24 hours, so it's wonderful to make ahead if needed. This is the best, simplest whipped cream you'll ever make. I mean, you saw how easy it was to come together. You only need three ingredients, and it's so fresh, and it tastes wonderful with so many different foods.